Hi guys, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with Engineer256. This is episode 4, I believe. And last two episodes, we've had problems. Now, they're different problems, but problems nonetheless, and with the same flight. So in, the f ep in episode 2 or 3... Two, um, we got stuck in orbit, and the orbit slowly decayed, and we got back on the planet. Now, our other problem is we have quite a bit of science stored up on the vessel that got stuck in orbit, and we couldn't jump back into the cockpit. So I've come up with a solution, and the solution is on here. Yes, we're going to go to the experimental space plane V2. Because that's right, you saw me build it in the last episode and have it on the runway. We're going to try and launch it. Now, I've done a really odd design. Because first of all, I don't have any space plane parts at all. And I mean at all. So what I've tried to do here is we're going to first fire off these. And they're going to launch us up. We're then going to drop them, turn around, and fly, hopefully, to the North Pole. Now, I don't know how successful this mission will be. I'm going to try and get science on the way there, because science is great. Science is amazing. And we're going to launch in 3, 2, 1, and ignition. Come on. Do we not have enough thrust? Oh my, we don't have enough thrust. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to revert the flight to the space plane hangar. Right, so last episode I set it up to 20 and apparently that's not enough. So I'm gonna set it to around 50, which is a little over double, about 10 over a double. But we're all scientists here. We can do simple math. Yeah. All right. Let me try and adjust this. It's being really finicky. You know what? 51. That works. That's close enough. All right. Now we're going to save it again and launch it again. All right. So about a bit about this space plane is I've done this before. It didn't work terribly well, but that was in another world with mods, again. So what we're going to do is we're going to have these fire, we'll drop them, fly out, and then just in case we have two drogue chutes and the main chute, which is right there. So if all else fails, we can rip off the rest of the body, which is what usually happens in Kerbal Space Program, and fly safely back or float safely back to the planet again still have science because nothing really changed except the thrust on the main boosters oh god drop them <laughs> all right yeah that wasn't good but it's a proof of concept so that's actually good we're gonna call this a simulation and uh, revert to launch <laughs> that wasn't the real thing All right, because he didn't actually die. He's right there. Oh, wait, no, that was Jebediah. Maybe he did die. We'll investigate that later. But right now, we're going to pull up the full thrust, because that's what I need. I forgot to do that. So, we're going to fly up, drop, and fly. Yes! I did it! I did it! Yes! Oh, God. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, no, 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 so, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys. Um, so, I tried lots of things. And none of it came to fruition. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try and get science around the KSC. Or the Kerbal Space Center. 
And hopefully that'll be enough science to unlock pieces vital to us getting the other science. Yes, because if in order to have science, we must get more science. Because science is good. So, what I'm going to do here is quickly construct a simple lander and extend all the legs and uh, yeah so we're gonna get plenty of science here so since I don't want them to get out at all <laughs> we're gonna do that all right so the inherent problem with this setup right here of all the mystery goo is one I don't think I'm gonna be able to use it all so let's let's drop that down to four another problem with this is um, I think I'm blocking the door I'm definitely blocking the door in that case is um well yeah so I don't think I'll be able to let them out and let them back in which is an issue also um, I have we're missing Jebediah I don't know what's going on usually he responds Maybe the game was like, no, you cannot be a mad scientist. You cannot use that. And then killed him. But I don't know. So, yeah, Jebediah is gone. So maybe he'll pop back after we do this mission, hopefully. But I'm going to save and I'm going to fix my staging first. And then I'm going to launch. So, yes, yeah, so we're going to save again and we're going to launch. So, hopefully this mission will give us enough science in order to unlock the next node, and we can do other missions. We will not forget Jebediah, or the Polar Express. Right, so we're going to start off at about quarter thrust, because we don't have a, a mass amount of fuel. So, yeah. Come on, come on, let me turn that on and close those. So what we're going to do here is we're basically going to fly around here, collecting science from each of the different biomes. All right, uh, a little bit more thrust. Let's turn on our landing gear. Because we don't want him to die. All right, this is a very delicate operation, as you can see. Ugh. Delicate. Very, very delicate. <sighs> Revert to the launch. Revert to the launch. Alright, so we're having a bit of issue here and there, but I think we'll get it taken care of. Uh, Newsy Kerman, yeah. We're okay. We can do this. We are calm, intelligent individuals. So let's observe the mystery goo here. Uh, the goo doesn't seem to be doing very much right now. We're going to keep that data because that is good data. We're also going to put it up to about 33% thrust, which is just enough to get us off the ground. Oh, go, 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 no, no, no! He's good! We're good! Let's let's see if we can uh, 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 Yeah, we're not getting anywhere. Let's 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 just observe the mystery goo. The goo seems bored. That's three science. So thus far this very productive, non explosive mission has gotten us six science. We're gonna do a crew report. This is our space center here. We're home. And we're getting a whopping 1.5 science. So, yes. We're going to EVA. Because why not? Oh. <laughs> God, okay. You know, kind of glitched through the ground there. Let's, let's run up there. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to cut to when we actually get up there. And I'll be right back, guys. And we're up here, guys. So... <laughs> Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to have him collect a surface sample. The surface is charred and coated with burnt rocket propellant. 
There are also trace amounts of conspicuous green substance. Don't know what that is. Keep the data. And definitely not the Kerbal before him. And we're going to go run back to our pod. Turn on RCS real quick. RCS. RCS. Thank you. <laughs> God. Come on, you can do it. We're going to get back in the pod. We're going to get back in the pod. Turn off RCS. Turn off RCS. And run back to the pod. You foolish Kerbal. Right. So what we're going to do here is uh jump jump F grab go yes in all right recover the vessel Let's see how much science we've gotten from this god all right and we got 16.5 science we have 35 science enough to open up a node and let's see not enough not enough and again, not enough. Though I'd really like this one. So what we're gonna have to go with is this one. Ooh, research that, yes. Oh, and what is this? So this says more engines, more fuel, and more ambitious ideas. Indeed. This gives us a step ahead in rocket technology, which will give us those and fuel tanks. Not really enthused about that. So, now that we've gotten that, I feel that, uh, maybe we should, uh, try and get, maybe, no, 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 it's too early, it's definitely too early, I mean, maybe, maybe we could get to the moon, no, I'm not gonna risk it, I don't wanna lose another Kerbal. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna. Oh, wait. Okay, get that and get rid of that. Okay, get out of here. So, we're gonna get this command pod and we're gonna build uh, just a rocket. I don't know where we're gonna go. I haven't decided yet. So, yeah. I'll be right back, guys. Let me finish building this rocket and I'll catch you guys in a few. Alright, guys. I'm back. And I have come up with this. So, in that thing we unlocked these which are giant solid rocket boosters or SRBs and I'm also gonna stick science on here just cuz though we're gonna go retrieve the science from the pole though and this presented a problem I would only have one Kerbal and be only be able to retrieve one science or one not uh, one group of science so to combat this I came up with this design it has two Kerbins or Kerbals should I say and that's gonna be Bill and Bob our other two main guys and they're gonna do this in the name of Jebediah so memory Please. no I did not spell right M-O-R-Y Memory of Jeb. <laughs> so yeah. Alright, and I've already configured all the staging correctly. So all we need to do is save and launch. So hopefully this one goes far better than any of the other launches that I've done in this episode. Because this episode has been Crash, Smash, and Bash. It's probably what I'm going to call the episode. So, but, whoa. But whoa, synchronization looking weird. Anyway, so we're gonna start at about a quarter thrust and launch right now. The reason it wobbled, and uh, I know that's kind of concerning looking, is because, well, to put it bluntly, we don't have the right science. We need struts. As soon as we get struts, all will be right with the world. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to point us that way. I believe, no, that won't go back. Is that pointing us north? No, that is not. Let me 
rotate the ship and point us north because that will be helpful. All right, um, solid fuel. Oh, we're out of solid fuel. That's not good. So what we're going to do here is we're going to drop those and continue to head up. go this way the other way no 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 tilt 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 do it all right yes we want to head that way and i'm gonna pull it up to full thrust because we need to get there quickly because that science up there is really bugging me the fact that th i know that there's science up there and i can't get it really irks me so yeah and we're losing altitude oh wait we're gaining again I'm going to engage the main engine and we're gonna start flying up bye KSC alright so what we're going to do is we're going to get into a suborbital hop over to the pole and try and get to, oh god, oh god bless it. Oh that's rotating the wrong direction, oh no, this is not good. I don't think we're going to get it in this run around, but that's okay. I do not mind. Yeah, we're definitely not going to get it, but you know, it's okay. We're still going to do our science here. Observe the mystery goo. The goo jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. We're going to keep that data. And we're also going to do a crew report. Hey, I can see my house from here, I think. Keep that data. And are we falling? Yes, we are falling. So let me tilt us up. Let me, let me write this. Yeah. Oh, I should probably, this would probably be helpful, do this. And I did our parachutes. Yeah, so we're not going to make it to the pole in this episode. I'm probably going to do that in between episodes just to get the science and call it good because that really frustrates me. And I don't want to record whilst well, frustrated because that does not sound like a good time to me. And I want you guys to have a good time just as much as I'm having a good time. I mean, this is the time where we all relax and chill out and just have a general good old time playing KSB. Now, I do have an issue. Let me, let me burn just a tad bit. Is that these will open up and will slow our descent abruptly. And my problem is, is it going to be so abrupt that it shoots this off? If so then I'm going to have to do some mad maneuvering skills. Okay, that stuff just fell. Oh my. Mad maneuvering skills. Okay, there we go. And we're going to cut the engine here. So, yeah. After we land, I'm going to recover the vessel. And then I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to call the episode quits. So, yeah. We're going to slowly descend upon the planet. I don't want to do an EVA while we're doing the parachute thing. <laughs> That's not good. Slowly descending. We're going to descend much faster because I don't want to wait. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. And we're about to hit the ground. Oh, my. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> All right. 
This has been Engineer256. This, this has also been Kerbal Space Program. And this is Bob and Bill. And we all want to wish you a wonderful video and fly much safely and fly very effectively. And get plenty of science. All right, this has been Engineer, and I'm out.